Hello there, I'm Alexander Turnbull. I am a session stylist, a British hairdressing award winner, and a celebrity stylist. This is my friend Sonia, and she has kindly come in. She's an actress, she's a model, and she often changes her look with wigs. I'm now feeling through the head, and now what I know I need to do is to actually wrap the hair. So generally when we're working on catwalks and things, we will, we will sleek the head down with gel, and wrap that round, and wrap that round, and wrap that round. You might not wanna do all the gelling at home, and wrapping it, it might not be necessary. I'm gonna do a little bit of that today, but I'm also gonna be using one of these. Okay, this is a, a wig cap. This is literally to secure all the hair before I start styling the wig. I take a tail comb, ROP products, which we stock, which are absolutely fantastic. These are for synthetic wigs, but they're perfectly safe to use on human hair. I'm just literally flattening this down. I'm working with where the parting wants to work on her hair. If I go for a really straight parting and then I push that forward but the hair wants to go another way, guess what? You're gonna get a bump in the wig. So work with what the hair wants to do. You can see on this head of hair how lovely and flat I'm getting that. So what we're after doing is just really flattening the head. Okay, and flattening that hair in. Because of Sonia's hair type, what I'm actually doing is I'm just getting a band and I'm putting the bottom into a really low pony. As you can see, we've got this little low piece of hair here. I'm now just taking these grips, just gripping this flat of the head. As you can see, I'm just gripping this back. That pony has kept everything quite flat into the head. So if I had longer hair at this point, what I'd actually be doing is I'd be, I'd be taking a section from here, taking this out the way and wrapping that continuously round. But with shorter hair, it's not really quite as necessary. The trick is to keep it nice and flat up top and nice and flat in the back. So the next thing I need to do is I need to get this wig cap I need to put the wig cap on the head, which is gonna tighten the hair in and it's gonna secure it through. And also another beauty of this wig cap is if we have any stray dark hairs coming through, and for instance, if I put a blonde wig on there, it's not gonna show through, thus it keeping looking more natural. If you were to be putting this on yourself, you know, what you could literally do is put your head forward and push that over. But considering that I have my lovely model working with me. I'm going to ask you to put two thumbs in the inside of there. Look, she knows what she's doing. She's a professional. And we come to there and hold it nice and tight, nice and tight. And then I just push this over this way. So for any of you stylists there that are hoping to get involved in photo shoots, movie, film, or, you know, just style that, that's a really good way to get your model working with you. So now you can see the head is nice and tight. In this area here, I can mold that hair to exactly where I want it. And if needs be, what I can actually do is get another grip and just secure around the edges of the cap. It's important when you're using your grips to make sure that the grips you use fit the actual color of the head. Anything showing around the perimeters, it's still dark. Generally, I would use four to eight pins when securing a wig cap. Depending on the hair type, you know, depending on which kind of wrap I use and how I tend to go there. But this is this four is fine. So we have two roughly at the temple area, and then we have two at the nape. But one thing is absolutely paramount, we are dealing with people, and you need to make sure that your person or yourself are very comfortable. So if there's anything in, and you've just put it on yourself and it's feeling, oh God, that's gonna get a bit easier, that's gonna get a bit easier, make sure that you actually rechange it. Because it's like the age old thing when you've been out on a night out and you, you put that new pair of shoes on and, and you've got a long night ahead and you think it's gonna get more comfortable and it doesn't and it actually ruins your night. So it's exactly the same for a hairpiece or a wig. So in my case, when I'm fitting these for clients, I always check if that's comfortable. Are you comfortable? I'm really comfortable. Thank you. Oh, well, that's good. And if that was you yourself, make sure you're comfortable. The last thing you want to be doing is worrying about your hair. You know, you want to go out and have a great time. So that will do that for you. So are you ready to try some wigs on? Yes, let's do it. Excellent.